Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning, 1st of April, April Fool's Day. I hope you've played some jokes on your mum and dad. Just kidding, don't do it, the round boys. I thought we'd film in the garden this morning because look, can you see the flowers behind me? All our tulips coming out, that's nice, isn't it? Great story this morning. We're gonna hear the story of Elisha. Well, while we're sitting outside, let's have the story of Elisha. One day, a lady who was very upset came to speak to Elisha. Uh, she needed help. My husband is dead, she said to Elisha. He, he was a faithful believer in the God of the Bible, but he died. And when he died, he was very poor and he owed money to lots of people. One of the people he owed money to wants his money back, she told Elisha. I can't pay him. And so the man is threatening to take my two sons away and to keep them as his servants. Well, Elisha was worried for the lady. Elisha asked the Lord for guidance. How could God help this poor woman? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Elisha asked. Only one small pot of oil, the tearful woman replied. Well, here's what you must do, said Elisha. Go home and borrow all the empty jars and pots you can find, not just in your house, but from all your neighbours as well. What for? said the lady. You will see, said Elisha. So the lady went home, and she and her two sons gathered as many pots and pans and jars as they could find. They even knocked on their friends' houses and borrowed their pots too. It was quite a collection. Then the woman went into her house, and she closed the door just as Elisha had told her to. Her little jar of olive oil was all she had to begin with, and so she tipped it up and poured the oil out of her jar into the big bowl in front of her. But the oil didn't stop flowing. It kept coming and coming until the bowl was full. The woman looked into her little jar and saw that well, it wasn't empty. There was still oil there. So she poured it into another large jar. And then she filled another jar and another jar and a basin and a pot. And the little pot that she had kept giving more and more oil until all the jars in her house were filled right to the top. Are there any containers left? She said to her sons. No, they replied. You've filled them all with oil. And at that moment, her little pot stopped pouring oil. The woman ran to Elisha. She was so happy. I did everything you told me, she said to Elisha, and now I have masses and masses of olive oil. Elisha was very pleased. Now, go and sell the oil and use the money to pay your husband's debts, he said. There should be enough money left for you and for your sons to buy all the food and the clothes and the things that you need. The lady was so pleased at the way God had provided for her. Most of all, she could keep her two sons and they could all look after each other well. The woman returned home very happy and they thanked God together for all he had given them. In the New Testament, Jesus teaches us these things. Don't worry and say, what will you eat? Or what will you drink? Or what will you wear? Your Father in heaven knows that you need them. And that's true, isn't it? That's what the lady in Elisha's story learned. Let's say a prayer. You can read it on the screen with me if you like. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us all we need each day. Thank you for our food, our clothes, our home, our family. Help us never to worry about these things. Help us to always trust that you will provide for our needs each and every day. You are very kind and generous to us. And we pray that you would give us opportunities to be kind and generous to other people. For we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Action Pack. God's people are super great superheroes. They don't have muscles from their heads to their toes. They're not gladiators at sea to the sea. In fact, it's amazing. They are just like you and me. 
Sometimes scared, sometimes scared. Ah! Shaking and shivering. But let's realize we got God on our side. And He can do absolutely anything. And again, God's people. God's people aren't super great superheroes. They don't have mercies from the head to their toes. They're not gladiators at sea to the sea. In fact, it's amazing. They are just like you and me. From the head to their toes They're not gladiators at sea to the sea In fact, it's amazing They are just like you and me Sometimes scared Shaking and shivering But let's be alive We've got God on our side And He can do absolutely anything Are you ready? Well, as a special treat today, we're, we're not going to have Joel's joke of the day just for once, but instead a little magic trick by my other son, Noah. Enjoy. The old disappearing. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed today's devotion. I'll see you again tomorrow.